Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, honey pies. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Right, follow the follow my leader. Who's turn is it now? Your turn, my angel. Ready to go. Follow my leader, follow my leader. Stephen's turn, that's the way. Okay, follow, follow my leader. <gasps> well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Playing follow my leader, but now Lisa's here will do something new. How about dressing Claude up as a leader, someone who stands out in a crowd, and we can lead ourselves over to the cheers? <laughs> right, Joe, you follow me. Do as I do, if you can. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh you would... <laughs> do you know, it's actually pretty hard being the leader and have everyone follow you. Oh, you can see that again, Raymond. You know, once when I was at Nicholson's department store at Christmas, all the lights went out. I was the only one with a torch. So I had to lead everyone, all the staff and all the customers, out into the street in the dark. Then suddenly the lights come back on. And do you know where I'd led them? Oh, I don't know. Tell me. Straight into Santa's grotto. <laughs> what a scream. <laughs> well, Mr Tidemark, the manager, didn't think so. Oh, no. He was cross. He said, you must always look where you are going. Oops. <laughs> Mind you, that's good advice, yeah, especially if you're the leader. I must remember to tell Tina about that. She's travelling on my train today. She's on her way to Helensbridge to take her advanced taxi driver exam. Oh, how exciting. Mm. Is it very difficult? Oh, it is, but Tina will be fine. She's amazing. Mm. <laughs> she has to know exactly where she is the whole time, looking and seeing what's behind and in front. Well, I know what's in front of me. A very peculiar looking plot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Claude, you look... Potty. <laughs> In a word. <laughs> yes. I love your sunflower in your hat. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh. This is for you, Daddy. Oh, thanks, Lise. Claude's hat. Oh, yes. And you can be a leader too now, Raymond. Oh, you're right there, Granny Murray. Right, will you be a good girl for Granny Murray? I'll see you later. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> now, remember... Always look where you're going. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! Okay, left, to the station. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, taxi. Hello, tank. Hello, trolley. Hello, plank. Hello, lorry. Hello, bank. I go down. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! Up. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Great. I've arrived. So what next? 
Aha, yes. I have to change out of these clothes and put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> right, nine o'clock. Oh, I hope Tina managed to catch the train. We're just about to leave. And we're off. <laughs> Where's Tina got to? Oh, there you are, love. Have you checked your rear view mirror? Don't forget to look in front before you drive off. Oh, there's no time for jokes, Raymond. A small boy has tripped up whilst running for the train and injured himself. He's in the next carriage. Well, what will I do? Oh, dear. Well, the first thing I'll do is see if there's a doctor on board the train. If there's a doctor on board, could you please report to Raymond in the buffy car? Thank you. Right, um, I'll get the first aid kit. Uh, I've got it. Right. Now, um, What's happened? Oh, there's a small boy injured himself next door, Dr. Juno. Lead the way to him. Oh. Whew, that was lucky. Oh, I wonder how my little ray of sunshine's getting on. Look straight ahead. Well done, Lise. Hold on tight. Woo! Down the shit she goes. Clever girls, that's the way. Hold on tight. That's a good girl. Your turn, Molly. Woohoo! That's my girls. If your dad can see you now, Lisa. Are you having fun, Daddy? Raymond? Can I borrow your first aid kit, please? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, go oh, here. Is the little boy going to be OK? Oh, not too bad. More shock than anything else. But I need a bandage. A bandage? All right. Haven't you got one in your first aid kit? No, in fact, I'm on my way to Helen's Bridge to get new supplies. Look. Oh, well, here. <laughs> That's just what I need. Thanks, Raymond. Oh, glad to be of service. <laughs> right. After that little emergency, it's time I got on with some hard work. I love my train. Our oh, rushes through the lines, pushes things too far and wide. Wheels go round and round the tracks, drive the edge of their backs. I'm so happy being me, doing all the things I love to do. Chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Making special moments on my way I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Being nice is what I love the most Take this time, they're looking fine Signal, go, I'll be on time Carriage is rolling from behind Don't go one by one in line I'm so happy being me Meeting all the people on the train I help and clear your things If there is a problem I'll explain Oh I talk, talk, talk all day Wheeling trolleys weaving to this way I'll do a trick and make the journey quick Oh I walk, walk, walk each way Loving all the things I do each day Bringing smiles and happiness my way I love my train We're making really good time today. Ooh. Is your arm feeling a bit better now, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, brave boy. <laughs> well, it's lucky we had you in the train, Dr Juno. No, it's just as well Raymond had a fully stocked first aid kit. You can always rely on me, Dr Juno. And you'll remember not to rush for the train next time, eh? Yes. And to look where you're going. Yes. Oh, thank you, Will. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> so, Cup of tea, Dr. Juno? Yes, please. <laughs> M, 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 M. And you too, my love. No, go on then. <laughs> so, where are you off to now then, Tina? Oh, well, I'm off to sit my advanced taxi driver exam. Wow, that sounds very important. What does it involve? Oh, all sorts. I've got to know all the street names, uh, emergency stops. Really? Mm, signalling correctly and keeping to the speed limit. Oh, you'll pass with flying colours, my angel. <laughs> well, I will, if I remember to look ahead 
and behind him, mm. because that's very important. Oh, I'm sure it is. Why don't you come over and we'll talk some more? Okay. <laughs> well, then you've got to let us change here. I hope the sun is shining where you are, Lisa. <laughs> I love to You're the leader. Now look straight ahead, my girls. Be careful. That's it. Ooh, watch your head, Lisa. That says, oh my stars. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, Lisa. Your dad would love to see you now. Where are you, Daddy? Hope you're having fun, Lise. Ooh, we're arriving at Helen's Bridge. Bang on time. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, well, I'm off to sit my exam now, Raymond. Oh, good luck, love. <laughs> You'll be great. Just remember to always keep looking ahead, but always checking what's behind you. Oh, Raymond, we're not in Panto now. <laughs> Bye, Dr. Juno. Bye, Tina. Oh, hey, you. You are right now? Yeah. Oh, good. Don't forget to change his bandages this evening, Dad. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, shouldn't you be getting off here too, Dr. Juno? Me? Oh, yes. Oh, in all the excitement, I forgot why I came to Helen's Bridge. Right, I need some supplies for my first aid kit. Oh, it's just here. There you go. Thanks, Raymond. <laughs> See you on the way back. Bye. Oh, hang on. Oh, I hope I gave Dr. Juno the right first aid kit. Oh, no. I've given her my first aid kit by mistake. Dr. Juno? Oh, ah, I've grazed my arm. Oh, now this will need first aid. But the first aid kit is empty. Oh, and we won't have any first aid for the return trip. Oh, no. I've grazed my arm, and Dr. Juno is now somewhere in Helensbridge with the train's first aid kit. How did I get myself in such a muddle? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's house. The children were playing Follow My Leader. At nine o'clock, I got to work. Tina was on the train too. She was on her way to take her advanced taxi driver exam. But she'd found a little boy in the next carriage who'd hurt his arm and needed first aid. Luckily, Dr. Juno was on board and came to the rescue. At 10 o'clock, Dr. Juno asked to use my first aid kit because hers was nearly empty. Then at one o'clock, we arrived at Helen's Bridge. Tina got off to do her driving exam and I told her to keep checking behind and in front. Dr. Juno asked for her first aid kit and went off to buy some fresh supplies for it in town. But I gave her my first aid kit by mistake. I chased after her, but I lost her when I bumped my arm. Now all I've got here is Dr. Juno's empty first aid kit. What am I going to do? Now remember, always look where you're going. Well, I obviously wasn't looking where I was going when I bumped my arm. And now there's only one place to look for the chemist in Helensbridge, to get a bandage for my arm. And if I look where I'm going, I should also find Dr. Juno. <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's gonna start it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song So that's one full first aid kit safely returned to the buffy car Oh, and we're off <laughs> Hello Raimondo Watcha Rudy, what can I get you? Well, what you got mate? Oh, well, I've got um, bandages Plasters, antiseptic cream, uh, cold spray. Raymond, if, if, if it's all the same with you, I think I'll just stick with a cheese toasty. I am hungry. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> I've got first aid kits on the brain today. <laughs> That's all right, mate. Um, maybe after I try one of your cheese toasties, <laughs> I might just need a first aid kit. <laughs> oh, the cheek. <laughs> Sorry, Rudy. One cheese toasty coming right up. Oh. 
I wonder what you're up to, Sunbeam. Well, Mr. Honey, if you want to go home in time for tea. What time, Granny, Mary? Quite right, Melissa. We'll have to watch these cobbles. They can be slippy. We don't want to fall. And I'm sure we'll still be in plenty of time for Dad. <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. <laughs> Hi, Granny Murray. Come on, Lisa, it's your dad. Hiya, Daddy. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Have you had a great day with Granny Murray? Oh, yeah. we certainly did, didn't we, darling? Thank you. Oh, oh. my wee angel. <laughs> And it's a big thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Always look where you're going. It saved the day. Oh, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Come on now, let's get you two home. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing Granny special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the leader of a crowd because we were all having fun playing follow my leader. Then I took the children to a fantastic adventure playground. I showed them how to use all the equipment and they followed my lead. It was such fun. Lisa took a turn at being the leader. She was great on the climbing frame. She always watched where she was going so it was really safe. Raymond learned to always look where he was going too, but I forgot to look ahead on the way home across the slippery cobbles. Luckily, Lisa was there to remind me that you should always look where you're going. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to. Who's here today? Well, there's Decca and we've got Paige. But don't just sit there, cheeky monkeys. Come on, let's get busy. Now, we're going to play musical bumps. Are we ready? Hands in the air. That's the way. Well, we've got Decca and we've got Paige, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, it's Lisa. Yes, with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Hi, Granny Murray. Hi, Lisa. Come on. <laughs> we've been playing musical bumps I thought it would get everybody in the right mood for Bobby's Bouncy Festival oh, later. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new, won't we? Why don't you dress Claude up as a space hopper? <laughs> oh. Go on then, girls. Oh, that should definitely get them in a bouncy mood. <laughs> <laughs> would you care to bounce over to the chairs? <gasps> don't mind if I do. Oh. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> you know? Bouncing is harder than it looks. Oh, I'm sure you'll soon get the hang of it. <laughs> Have you heard what Bobby's organising for the Bouncing Festival? Well, she's organised a bouncy castle, space hoppers, competitions. <gasps> oh, the whole of Riversea Finger will be bouncing before the day's out. It's so exciting. Oh dear. Well, I hope my passengers don't get too excited. Bouncing passengers and taxis do not mix. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to calm them down, Tina. Oh, well, how? What would you do? Me? Oh, well, um, if people are fidgeting, entertain them. Will you look at Claude? Oh, oh Claude, <laughs> what a fabulous looking bouncer you are. Bouncy, bouncy Claude. <laughs> Is that for me, Lisa? A bouncy ball? Oh, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Come on, then. Bye-bye. Now remember, 
when people get fidgety, entertain them. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit? And which way's a miss? Hey! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Hello, flower. Hello, cat. Hello, green man. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Phew! Now what? Of course! I have to get dressed for work. <laughs> All dressed and ready to go. Hi, Tina. I was just wondering if I could borrow some tools from your workshop. Only I'm going to make these special bouncy badges as prizes for today's space hopper competition. Oh, yes! Well, Granny Murray told me all about your bouncy festival. So, yes, of course. Step this way. <laughs> so, help yourself to whatever you like, Bobs. Thanks. Oh, it looks like a lot of fun. It is, and it's a lot of hard work, too. Still, once I finish making these bouncy badges, that's me finished. <gasps> Great, this is just what I need. I wonder how my little bouncy girl is getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Thingle, River Sea Thingle, that's for me. River Sea Thingle, River Sea Thingle, that's for me. I hope your mum's having as bouncy a time as we are. <laughs> I'm thinking of you, mummy. There! Another happy bouncy badge. Bouncy? Yeah, watch. Oh, that's cool! Can I try to make one? Yeah, sure. Right, you need two thin strips of card. OK? And then you dab some glue on one end and stick them together so that they're like the hands of a clock pointing to three o'clock. Three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Great. Then you fold the bottom one over the top and then fold the next one over the top and keep folding them over just like that until you end up with a square of folded card. Just like that, which should spring up. Yes, OK. And then you just glue the next bit down at the top. There's the glue. <laughs> Stick on a happy, smiley face. And that's it. <gasps> Brilliant. <laughs> Great. Well, that should be all the bouncy badges that I need for today. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. I'd better get these over to the Space Hopper race pronto. Oh, see you later, Bobby. Bye, Tina. Oh, and thank you for all your help. <laughs> and it's time I got on with some work too. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep the traffic.
radio who calls up a taxi fare, who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh! Woo! Cruising a city in my pretty pink taxi, yeah! Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi! for you both. Would you take us to Bobby's Bouncy Festival, please, Tina? There'll be bouncy castles and space hopper races and a bouncy thon too. OK, OK. <laughs> if you'd like to hop into the back of my taxi, we can go. Hop, you bet. <laughs> I can't wait to bounce the space hopper. Me too. It must be like bouncing on a big bass drum. Boing! Boing! <laughs> <laughs> and me think the doth bounces too much. Up, down. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. See you later. <laughs> I don't think I or my taxi could stand much more of those shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my Lisa isn't as bouncy as those two just were. <laughs> Whew. Right the chasers, you hold on tight. Oh, oh come on, chuck it in there. <laughs> That's the way on your space hoppers. <laughs> on your marks. <laughs> Get it. Go! <laughs> 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 yourself into first place. <laughs> go and get your badge from Bobby Clever Girl. <laughs> come on, come on, get your badge, Lisa. Oh, that was brilliant bouncing. Well done. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Tina's Taxis. Can I help you? Louie? What was that? Now, calm down. Oh, Chuck! Uh, hello. <laughs> oh, you both need a lift back to the ferry boat. Sure, yeah. Well, I can be with you in about half an hour. Great. OK. I'll see you both then at the Bouncy Festival. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, dear. Doesn't sound like either of them is tired of bouncing just yet. Which is bad news for me and my taxi. Mm, I think we could be in for an even bumpier ride this time. Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's with Lisa. Granny Murray told me all about Bobby's Bouncy Festival, and I was a little worried that everyone in Riversea Fingal was going to be bouncing today. At ten o'clock, I arrived at work and Bobby popped in to borrow some tools to help make some bouncy badges for prizes at the Bouncy Festival. At 11 o'clock, I popped back to the garage to be surprised by Chuck and Louie. They wanted a lift to the Bouncy Festival and were both so excited, they practically bounced me and my taxi all the way there. At 12 o'clock, I came back to the garage for lunch and got a call to bounce, I mean take, Chuck and Louie back to the ferry boat. I'm not looking forward to that. How can I stop them bouncing? Now remember, when people get fidgety, entertain them. When people get fidgety, entertain them. <gasps> of course! Bobby's bouncy badge could be the answer. <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've 
I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong, I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I should. I'm going to beat the clock before the time. I'm going to sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. I can't remember when I've had so much fun. I hope the sea's choppy today. Me too. I love it when the ferry boat goes up, up and down and, and up. <gasps> What's that? Oh. <laughs> That's my new bouncy TV. I thought you might enjoy looking at it on the journey. Like it? We love it! <sighs> All's calm. <laughs> Seems to have worked. I hope Granny Murray has calmed Lisa down after all the bouncy excitement of today. <laughs> Oh, it was great fun, wasn't it, darlings? Yeah! Mm. Oh, I needed that. I was thirsty, Lisa. Right, my darlings, let's finish up, because Lisa's mum will be coming to collect her soon. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Tina, come away in. Look who's here, Lisa. <laughs> oh, hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, did you have a good day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Will you say thanks to Granny Murray? <laughs> Come Thank here, you, Granny Murray. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. When people get fidgety, entertain them. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> That's a good girl. Bye, bye my darling. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round. Washing up and slushing down. Then there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a space hopper because I thought it would put us all in the mood for Bobby's bouncy festival at the park. And it did. We all had great fun jumping up and down on the bouncy castle and bumping along at the space hopper race. Lisa came first and was awarded a bouncy badge as a prize. It seemed like the whole of River Sea Fingal was bouncing. But with all the bouncing, Tina had trouble keeping her passengers on their seats in the taxi. But Tina came up with an entertaining way to keep their minds off bouncing on their journey home. Oh, bouncing really is great fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs> Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee puppets. Come on, let's get busy. Pedals. Let's have a wee look at these. They're beautiful. Feel how cold and soft they are. We're going to make wee pebble pets. <laughs> it's a wee tongue twister, isn't it? Can you see that, Megan? A perfect pebble pet. Yellow hair. Yellow hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you like them? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson, the Dr. J. 
Gino, hello there. Doctor Gino, hello and Santa. Come on, boys. Get boys. Come on. Come and see. Oh, come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Samson, look who's come to say hello. <laughs> oh, gentle now. We've been painting some pebble pets. Oh, that's brilliant, Granny Murray. Oh, yes. I collected the pebbles from the beach. That gives me an idea. Why don't you two dress Claude up as a beachcomber? Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. And we can pebble dash our way over to the chairs. <laughs> Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> oh, just a thought, Granny Murray. You should be careful with little pebbles and children. They could easily swallow them. Oh, don't worry. I only let them play with big pebbles and I'm always reminding them not to put anything in their mouths. Oh, good. You can never be too careful. No, my friend Florrie looks after a wee girl called Trudy. She puts everything in her mouth. One day, Florrie had to go to the toilet too. As we all do. So what, she left Trudy alone? She was fine, she was playing on the floor with a puzzle. Anyway, when Florrie came back into the room, she noticed that something was missing. What? A goldfish from the bowl. She thought that Trudy had swallowed it. Oh no! Yes, Florrie got herself in a right flap, going onto the internet and looking up first aid books, trying to see what to do. And the more upset Florrie got, well, Trudy started to get upset, and when Trudy got upset, Flory got even more upset. <gasps> so what happened? The goldfish swam out from behind a pebble. Trudy hadn't swallowed it. So Flory had been panicking for nothing. <laughs> That's oh. right. So it just goes to show other people's upsets can upset you too. Oh. Oh, well, Claude won't upset anyone dressed like that. <laughs> 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 look at this. Oh, you look just right for a spot of beach combing, Claude. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Gina. Oh, thank mm. you. It's gorgeous. That's a wee pebble pet for you, honey pie. Oh, it's brilliant. It reminds me of my own little pet. <coughs> oh, bye, Samson. Be good for Granny Murray. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> now remember, other people's upsets can upset you too. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a trouble. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lights Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up Squeaker, squeaker, squeaker slows us down Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street That squeaker, squeaker to a stop I'm in the need in a hurry I really, really need to speed to work Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry and hurry to get changed. All dressed and ready to go. Oh. My pebble pet will keep me company today. Morning, Dr. Juno. Can you come and take a look at the hazards in the home charts, please? Yes, of course, Nurse Hendry. You have to spot all the dangerous things that can happen in the kitchen. Oh, I see. And these are the forms to fill in with your answers? Mm -hmm. So how many dangerous can you spot? Well, the hot saucepan on the cooker, mm -hmm. the bucket of water on the floor, mm -hmm. the wire from the iron, the knives on the counter, oh, and the dog bowl on the floor. You might trip over that. <laughs> well done. Five out of five. You're the first person so far to spot the dog bowl hazard. Oh, that's because I've got a dog of my own. <laughs> I wonder how Samson's doing right now. I love to skip in rivers bingo, rivers bingo by the sea. I love to skip in rivers bingo, rivers bingo, that's for me. Right. One across, an animal that barks, three letters. What's that funny noise, Granny Muddy? Swallowed a pebble? What would Dr. Juno do? <gasps> Dr. 
Dr Juno, you have a patient in the examination room. All right. Hello, Tia. What's happened to you? I burnt my hand under hot water. I hope we're not making a fuss about nothing. Oh, not at all. That's what I'm here for. Let's take a look. Hmm. Well, it's not too bad. You're very lucky. Did you put Tia's hand under the cold water straight away? For a skull like this, it's the best thing to do. OK, your hand might sting a little bit, Tia, but Nurse Henry's going to put some cream on it, all right? Well, maybe you need to make the hot water a little bit cooler when you get home, all right? Look, I'll see you later. OK, thanks, Dr Juno. Bye-bye. That's another hazard to add to our chart. I think it's going to be a very busy day today, so I better get on with some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolley's gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights run up to the Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. Did you know? Spoke too soon. Yes, Nurse Henry. Mickey John's in the examination room with one of his pupils. Oh dear, what's happened? Ah, Dr. Juno, this is Sean. He had an asthma attack in class, worse than ever before. Oh, I see. Let's have a look. And did you follow the normal procedures for an asthma attack? Oh, yes. I sat him down with his hands on his knees to relax and keep calm. And uh, he used his inhaler a couple of times. Oh, great. That was just the right thing to do. But you were still feeling poorly, were you, Sean? Oh, but you seem OK now. Nurse Henry here will look after you and make sure you're fine, all right? And I will see you later. Oh, um, I, I hope I wasn't being an old fast pot bringing him into the hospital. Oh, not at all, Mickey John. You did absolutely the right thing. You can never be too careful. All right, good. I'd hate to be an old fuss pot. <laughs> so, uh, did I really do the right thing? Yes, you did. Now, I've got to get back to my office. I've got some paperwork to catch up on. I hope my waggy friend's having a good time. Hello, Sam. Oh. I'm sorry to make a fuss. I was just wondering if you could take a look at Samson. You see, he started coughing today and we were painting pebbles. And, oh, I'm all worried he might have swallowed one. Oh, that's no problems at all. We'll take him through and give him a good check over and make sure he's OK. Oh, don't worry, Samson. It'll just be like Dr. Juno taking a look at you. <laughs> Come on, Samson, let's go through. Come on, Angels. <laughs> Uh, just to let you know, I've given Sean a check over and his asthma seems fine now. Oh, great! Let's go give him the good news. Mm. Hello, Sean. Oh, you're looking much better now. You can go back to school. And if ever you're feeling poorly, just use your inhaler, all right? Are you sure about that, Dr Juno? About Sean going back to school, I mean? Oh, of course you're sure. You're the doctor. I'm sorry. I'm just a bit upset. Oh. You see, I'm not making a fuss, am I? I'm sorry if I am. I hate making a fuss. It's just I want to be sure I did the right thing. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. This is all my fault. Um, 
Oh my goodness, what's going on? Oh, I've been looking after my patients all day. Sean's ready to go back to school, but Mickey John is a complete flap. What can I do? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. The children were painting lovely pebble pets. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry showed me a chart about hazards in the home. I spotted lots of dangers in the kitchen, even the dog bowl that you might trip over. At 10 o'clock, I examined a little girl who'd burnt her hand. Her mum was worried that she was making a fuss about nothing, but I soon told her she'd done the right thing. At 12 o'clock, Mickey John arrived in the examination room with Sean. Sean had had an asthma attack. At 1 o'clock, it was time for Sean to go back to school. His asthma had gone and he was fine. But Mickey John was very upset. He thought he was making a fuss and that it was all his fault. He's in a real flap. What can I do about it? Now remember, other people's upsets can upset you too. Other people's upsets can upset you too. <gasps> of course, I've got to calm Mickey John down. He's all worried and upset from looking after Sean. Mickey John thought he was being a real fuss bot. So I've got to make a real fuss over him. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure. She I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. She's going to start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. <laughs> Are you feeling much better now, Mickey John? Much better, thanks. I'm just sorry I made such a fuss earlier. You see, I... Oh, don't start that one again. You are not making a fuss, OK? OK. Good. See, other people's upset can upset you too. Let's go and see how Sean's doing. Ah, uh, we were just spotting some hazards in the home. Oh, that looks good. I'll do it with you, Sean. <laughs> Patient and teacher seem to be doing fine. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, I hope my furry friend's fine too. I wonder what he's up to right now. It's all right. Ah, he's fine. Young dogs often swallow things they shouldn't do, but he hasn't swallowed a pebble. He's fine. And what about his coughing? Oh, it's just a bit of a tickle in the back of his throat, but he'll be fine. Oh, well, that's great news, isn't it, Mr. Harlands? Dr. Juno will be pleased. Come on, you. Let's get you home. Dr. Juno will be coming to pick him up. Dr. Juno, come away in. Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh. Samson wants to say thank you. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Other people's upsets can upset you too. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking. was really special about today. Well, Claude was dressed ready for the beach because the children and I painted patterns on pebbles to make perfect pebble pets. 
doctor Juno you know, warned me about the dangers of letting children swallow small things. Later, Samson started coughing. <gasps> I got upset because I thought he might have swallowed a pebble. So we took Samson to the vets. I hoped I wasn't making a fuss, but the vet decided to give Samson an examination. The vet said Samson was fine. He hadn't swallowed a pebble and his cough was just a tickle in his throat. So we could all stop being upset by other people's upsets and calm down. At the hospital, Dr Juno calmed Mickey John down too when she realised he had been upset by other people's upsets. I'll give you your tea in a minute. It's much easier looking after my pebble pet. I never have to get upset. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to skip in river sea tingle, river sea tingle, bye. I love to skip in river sea tingle, river sea tingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, the city. where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray.